commentary of Axis of War. And this is a mess. I have a patch going, only 25% of it works. The rest is, to be honest, crap. What do I do? I would like to uh, buy another module. Yeah, spend like 1000 euros on a new module or two that will solve all my problems. Well, I do not have any problem except that 75% of my patch is missing. I just need something else. Let's be creative. Let's look into what I've already got. Oh yes, I got this tiny, tiny VCO. It's so tiny that you hardly can see it. It's free HP. That's about 1.5 centimeters, right? Some, let's say, 67% of an inch. That's not much. That's not it's not even visible on YouTube if I show my rack. Uh, it's hidden, it's, it's even black, so it does not look good on photographies. What should I do? I should buy this glaring module that has all those uh, CV ins and all those modulation capabilities. And I will spend, say, one month or two months just trying to figure it out. Well, I'm not going that way. I'm going with a Pico VCO from Erica Sins. Free HP and a wonder. It has two inputs. CV in, one volt per octave. And the prime input. It's strength in my mind. And that's the waveform input. Where you can sweep the waveforms available. 32 of them. It's uh, digital. It has two banks, 16 different waveforms in each bank, and it has an LFO mode as well, if you want to modulate something with that module. But I'm going the VCO way, and I will try to find some nice sweet spots with that module that will make my patch work, at least increase the percentage of the patch that really is likable, at least to my ears. First, I have to admit that it is crap. To unpatch the crap. Free repatch. It has taken me hours to get to this point that I have 75% crap and 25% that works. So it's a little bit hard for me to <sighs> recognize my failure. But I think that's the creative process in a nutshell. Have a great shit detector that make you realize, makes you realize what you have done wrong and get rid of it. Turning the filter into low pass mode. I mean, free HP, and there are countless possibilities in just this little module. If you have 
three of these modulated in different ways, ways you have a whole track and a plethora of possibilities. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's this oh yeah this little one a triangle LFO yes we're going into industrial terrain Like that. Distorted, yes, but I like it. Yes, another one. Very simple, I admit that, but with some additional modulation, some VCA. This will easily be part of a track. And if you have an LFO with a voltage control over frequency, well, you can do anything, I think, with just this module. Free HP. That's in centimeters, 1.5. Incredible. Let's just do something. Auto. And I use an oscillator. Okay, that's chaotic because it's so fast. Is it possible to get any result? Well, it needs some attenuation. Now I attenuate the hysteria. Yes, it is interesting. It has a purpose, I guess. I would like to mention one more thing. This microphone. MD200 from Sennheiser is a very cheap one. It costs about 15 pounds on eBay in England or 20 bucks on Reverb. And for 20 of these you can get one sure SM7B. The state-of-the-art microphone preferred by many oh, and for a good reason it's very good but for my purpose this microphone is more than sufficient the money I save using this microphone which I bought for about 10 euros I can invest in another module or two perhaps or three so I saved about 300 euros buying this one perhaps 350 euros and uh, to me for my purpose that's a no-brainer 
I'm not a singer, but I would like to sing something for you now. Beware. I like to. Do you know what I like? I really like to use simple modules, LFOs, cheap VCOs, etc. and surprise myself. This take, for example, Pico VCO from Erika Sensen.